ready to begin. This is black magic painting, it's really fun. It's really a bit of art therapy, you don't have to think about it, it's just great fun to do. What I'm doing is I've I've painted my canvas with black paint and let it dry. Now I'm using Liquin, which is my oil painting medium, and I'm covering the whole canvas. I think that's it. With my Liquin. I'm going to use transparent oil paints for this. Those are colours that don't have any white in, so they're not opaque at all. This is the fun bit. Right, I think I've pretty well covered this. And with my transparent colours, um, that's Let's start with the blues. Ultramarine, phthalo blue, phthalo green, my two browns, burnt umber and raw umber, and alizarine crimson. To a certain extent, raw sienna, um, but that does show up a little bit. Let's have a look. Yes, you can see that a little bit. I'm not really very happy with that. So we'll go to Alizarine Crimson. I'm still using a bit more liquid and my crimson. You see, you can't see that very well, or hardly anyway. So I'm going to cover my board with random patches of transparent colour. Now I'm going into my Alizarin Crimson with my Ultramarine because I know that, that will make a really good purple. a bit lost now, I'm not sure where where the colours are, I just need to give that a rinse. That's it. A bit of phthalo. Phthalo blue is a very strong colour. It's absolutely lovely if you want something vibrant. I've no idea where my colours are now. And that's the fun of this. Now the last colour I'm going to add in is a bit of phthalo green or Windsor green if you've got that. I find Viridian is just a little bit opaque. I think that will do, and I think you'll agree with me, you can't really see it. And the next thing you do is take a paintbrush and some white without any, without any medium at all. So you've got nice thick paint and you paint brush strokes anywhere you like. Paintbrush for a walk. You can see some of the colours coming through. That's it. For quickness, just to show you, I'll just do a bit. I'll have another bit up there and we'll see what colours come out. And then using a dry brush and keeping the brush as dry as you can, you go onto the white and you flick it. And you get some nice spontaneous shapes.
You could actually draw something definite if you wish, but I think the fun of this is finding out what colours you've got underneath. Keep your brush as dry as you can. You can add a bit more white on the top if you want. Make the paint even thicker. And that does mean that you can fan the colours out even further. you'll find that the picture actually reminds you of something and you can move it in that direction, whatever it may be. It's quite nice. I'm going to try a stiffer brush and see what happens. But really this is all about experimenting. There, look, I can do some very straight, stiff marks with that. That's basically what you do. I think I might leave it at that. I find less is more. You can go on until you've ruined every picture you do. That's very easy to do. Um, yes, I'm going to leave it at that. So that's magic black magic painting. I hope you find that helpful. If you have, please subscribe. And if you have any questions, put them in the comments box. I could do something here, couldn't I? Hmm. Let's do something in a round. Just some spots.